I've no idea what kind of mage this is. I would have a sweet pay some sweet patrons here. Maybe I'm gonna live long enough with the armor smith to make that happen. Maybe I should have mulligan for the war axe. That's a pretty close call. Okay, it's tempo mage, so I should have mulligan actually for the war axe. I could put down the armor smith. Let's wait. Let's wait and see a little. It's starting to get into a position where I may need to use. I may need to use my worldly defects for removal. I guess I'll coin out the acolyte. Let's see what he answers to that. Maybe use a frost bolt on it. No. Okay. Just ignores it. Fine. I guess I'm fine with that. Now I actually get a pretty. I still have to use these whirlwind effects that I would have liked to use with the patrons. But I guess I will go with that. I can save the whirlwind. I can use just the inner inner rage. Take out the mana berm. Well, now I have a ghoul. That's fine. Let's go with just this. I got two draws. I used it in the rage, but I got two draws. I saved the whirlwind. Oh, this is aggro freeze. This is an aggro freeze mage. All right. But now I will have to use the whirlwind. No, I don't. I could just use double taskmaster. Or I could just use the ghoul. I guess ghoul and armor up is the choice here. He should have no silence or polymorph. So none of these minions is going to be able to hit me. He can only kill the ghoul, and then they will all die, regardless of how he does it. So he should just run them into it, and not, not waste a spell. And that will also give me some arm because of the armor smith. But yeah, that's an aggro freeze mage. And it's a really peculiar build. So next turn is maybe Shredder. Maybe I should be arm armoring up because the Agro Freeze Mace has pretty limited amount of burn. He can't deal a whole lot of damage. Well, now I will definitely have to kill kill the Talnus. So I can't play the Shredder. I'm just Taskmastering the Talnus and armoring up. His damage is limited anyway. So I'm bringing up, I can maybe escape it. Okay, what does he get from Finley? Hunter hero power, Paladin. Okay, and that's your number one choice against Patron Warrior because. I have actually no idea why. I could only make two patrons if I go for that. He's probably able to remove them. But I would need eight mana to make more. But I can play a pilot and shredder next turn. So I guess I will go with the patrons here. Clears the board as well. And he has to use spells to kill them. He can't use his hero power if he doesn't. 
Blizzard doesn't do much. Frost Nova doesn't do much here. He would have to use a Frost Bolt or something on, on the tree health one. Or get lucky with Blingtron. Gladiator's Longbow, that's pretty lucky. Poisoned Blade. Okay. Yeah, that Gladiator's Longbow, that, that's pretty nice. Turns out that's pretty nice. I won't be able to make enough patrons. He can kill a 3-3 tree, tree patron with that and not even take any damage. Do I just get rid of my patrons? And play boom. I think that's pretty strong. I can finish off Blinktron here. And go with the boom. I can even go double shredder next turn if I want to. But yeah, that gladiator's longbow from Blinktron, I don't know. Today it has Today has just not been my day. It just hasn't been my day. I guess I want to get rid of the rid of the minions. So I can just play one shredder. That will be fine. He will be able to kill Boom, though. He would be able to kill Boom. Just one minion and then, because he's immune when he attacks with the longbow. But would I seriously execute? Would I seriously execute a mad scientist? I guess I would. Trying to protect Boom. I guess I would indeed. Let's use hero power. Increases the attack. I can kill off the Oracle. I can develop a Taskmaster here. And execute that scientist. I probably should have played the frothing out. <laughs> yeah, I could have done that. Would have been pretty uncertain, though. So is he now convinced that he has enough burn to just kill me? Eight cards. That's not too much still. So I have 12 burst with Gromash. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26 even, if he hadn't had the Frost Nova. Oh wow, now he thinks he has the burst needed to kill me. What I would need is an armor smith turn. I need a good armor smith turn. That's the thing. How do I get a good armor smith turn? By setting up the dead spite. He might frostbolt my face though. Some difficult choices. Let's develop the dead spite anyway. And drop down the frothing. Kill that one there. Hope he doesn't freeze my face so I get a good uh, good armor smith turn next turn and then I should get out of reach. Then I should get out of reach if he doesn't freeze me now. If he does freeze me, then then I probably won't be able to get out of reach. Does he have lethal now? That's another question. Okay, he didn't have lethal yet, so I will get that armor smith turn. This is going. This might still be just fine. Can I pop him with Gromash? I can do. 10, 12, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I should be able to pop. Why would you use an RK missiles here? Why would you do that? 
So I can pop him. Let's play out the armsmith. And Gromash. Attack these guys in first because they are going to die otherwise. Then let's get some armor. Not sure at what point I can pop him with this play. He might be quite high. But I'll try to arrange as good as possible. Depends on the boom, but... Not exactly perfect. But I can still pop him at three. There. I'm not sure whether this is enough. Only 18 health. If I had another whirlwind effect. So he might freeze the board again or have another ice block. That's the thing. It's another whirlwind. Yes. So I need to get as much stuff on the board as possible for that whirlwind. I can pop him at two, yeah. That's the second ice block. But I wouldn't want to fill the board completely. Frothing is going to die though. So I can play a shredder. I guess I will play double shredder. No, I want to armor up as well to get as much armor as possible. So it's shredder acolyte. Armor up and whirlwind. This should keep me safe. Yes. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, Remember to subscribe.